What's up guys? Hey, like I said, I just been slacking on Medical Mondays. I'm back on it. I've also been slacking on any technique. I'm gonna get back on this too. Uh, so we're gonna start something really nice and simple. It's gonna be a single leg cut the corner. Um, man, even though I got some really good kids in here, they were kind of missing a few really key details. So I'll give you kind of a brief overview and then we'll talk about in the second, third part, talk about some of the details that people were missing. Um, and hopefully you guys pick up a lot because this is probably the number one, I'd argue probably the number one score in folks that wrestle with argument. So, um, boom, we're not talking about setups today, so I'm just gonna do a simple pull. Obviously, we can talk about setups another time. So, pull, leg steps forward, boom, I fire a single, right here, he sprawls, okay? So see how his knee is bent right here? That's the first sign that I'm gonna go around the corner. Boom, hit the corner, run, 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 chill. Half on the knees, obviously my shoulders stay moving a little bit. So let's talk about that first part really quick. Uh, let's see right here, Aiden. Um, depending on what kind of sprawl is going to dictate which finish I give. And so if he does more of a straight leg sprawl, that's going to be a cutback. If he's a really good sprawl in front of me, that's when I lift the corner or lift the middle. But when he's got a weak sprawl, like get an angle and the knee is bent, that's when it's going to be really, really easy for me to cut the corner. So when I shoot the single leg, boom, his knee is bent. That's where, boom, I can drop my elbow in, right? See how my elbow has dropped in now? Um, and my arm is flat behind the leg. Now my shoulder and my head are into him, okay? Run, run, run. Boom, shoes, shelf it up. Boom, tap on the knees. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. Um, and, I'll and then I'll, we're gonna take a break, so we're splitting this into three parts. And I'll talk about two of the different details that people were really, really missing on. We can focus in on those. So again, Setups, we're gonna talk about those. We can do pull, snap, whatever. I fire, I get a good angle. His leg is bent, his sprawl is not super strong. I punch the elbow down and go. So pull, boom, elbow down, run, 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 shelf, boom, back with the knees right there. Okay, so this will be part one. Um, check out on YouTube, you get to see the whole thing all at once. We'll break it up on Facebook if people got short attention spans. So, Part two, single leg. We gotta keep our head and shoulder pressure. We had a lot of kids missing this, and if you're a coach and you're watching kids drill, um, you really need to be on top of them on this, and something maybe I missed for a little bit, and then they're hopping back on top in the last three to six months. So what I mean by that is, a lot of kids when they shoot a single, their head's gonna kind of fly to the outside. So like this, see my head's like coming off of him. Okay, or even when he sprawls and goes, go knee down. Right there, boom. They come here and then they come here, right? This is gonna alleviate any type of pressure from Aiden and gonna make it really, really, really easy for him to defend. So I've been really, really picking on. Let's just go, uh, you go to knees face the camera. Okay, as I'm coming here, right, keeping the head up, it's up and it's in, okay? And my shoulder is also really jamming in. Boom, 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 and then I can attack the knee. Um, the other thing with the shoulder pressure here is, just to, without partners, so you guys can see this, if I can keep my shoulder over my elbow, I can keep really solid, strong pressure on there. Now, if Aiden is in a sprawl, like especially when he would do the shin wizard, if he's able to take my elbow outside, this starts getting really weak, and that's when, boom, I'm gonna get stretched out. That's when we start having <laughs> shoulder issues, right? So we really gotta keep our shoulder over the top of our elbow in there, and our head and our shoulder pressure is really gonna help that happen, okay? And now the last thing, let's just go ahead this way, same thing on your knee, is this has gotta be all the way flat against the mat. So if my elbow starts popping up off of the mat, that's gonna cause real issues. So when I'm like this, some kids will be like, see where my elbow, he can just slide his heel, yep, boom, right there, back out. So here, elbows down, boom, head and shoulder in, nice and tight. Now he can try to drive into him if he, yeah, he wants to, right there. He's not gonna be able to get the pressure necessary from my head, my shoulder, and my arm are all doing the right work. So I've been really focusing on that the last, say, six months with our kids, make sure we get the proper head and shoulder pressure. I think we got a little lax physical on that point. And that was forcing a lot of our kids probably to finish the middle too much because they weren't getting the corner enough. Yeah. Part three, okay? So the other thing kids miss, and this is, man, this is even huge at, at the highest level, and really if you're talking about defensive single leg too, it's something, it's a battle between me and him. Um, 
So and it's, it's the most annoying part. So kids do this to themselves. When I get below the knee, my chances of finishing a single leg go way down. So I shoot a single, boom, and I come down here, right? He can go Hamlin, boom, right? Spin on me there. He can get a really tight shin wizard if he wants to. There's, there's just so many things he can do. Once my hand doesn't capture his knee, his knee has freedom, that's when I'm gonna get myself in trouble. So I've been really, really big on focusing on kids capturing the knee. And like I said, especially middle school kids, when they shoot a single, sometimes they get lazy and they like swing themselves down below the knee. And then they're always wondering, why am I hitting my shoe wizard? We are hitting my shoe wizard because you're not attacking and capturing the knee. So I'm really having the guys focus on boom, boom. Look, this hand's on the knee. And now obviously, boom, I get that elbow and shoulder push on. We talked about in the last video. I had this capture. Now Aiden, uh, let's just turn up his camera. If he's good, and he, he's all right, okay? He's good, he wants to get rid of this. So this is a battle, yeah, he's exactly, he's gonna try to push that down, pull this knee, right? And so th this is competitive, this is gonna be a battle. So once I'm here, right, I'm really trying to try pressure into him, so he's pushing back, and he might be trying to fight that, you know, but I can come in here, and now I have like up, okay? Um, even to the point where with the high school guys, in the fall, we, we spent quite a bit of time um, starting from that, la that last couple of positions. So, uh, this is the camera. Like, right here, one. Then they start one, two, three, wrestle. Okay, with him having that foot up and maybe a hand on the head. Yep, right there, one, two, three, wrestle. So just like finishing those positions, focusing on what we talked about part two with the head and shoulder position, and then capturing the knee, because a lot of kids are struggling with those two points. So. Obviously, shooting the single and cutting the corner is a really simple basic finish, but even at the highest levels, you're seeing guys miss on some really basic details. Basic details matter whether you're an eight-year-old or whether you're trying to make the Olympic team. Basic details matter. You have to be able to do them right. And obviously, the better he gets, the better he's going to be keeping me off his knee or getting my head out of position, those type of things. So, um, I know that's a simple move. That's really popular. But a couple details we've really been focusing on here, head shoulder position, and then making sure we're focused on capturing the knee. Hope you guys got a lot out of that. If you like this, we got summer camps at awwisconsin.com, and we have a lot of videos on wrestling fanatics, so check those out. Peace.